Okay, we got something fun and a little different today. Instead of you seeing my face the whole time, we're gonna focus on the product. You'll see my hands occasionally. I'm using a Insta360 Go To uh, camera, and I am gonna show you this nice new machine from FMS. It's their new FJ Cruiser 118th. So we are going to talk about it, details, pros, cons, running video. I hired a new videographer to uh, get some good footage of the car. And then at the end, if you hang on to the end, I'm going to compare it briefly to these two pretty cool machines. All right. So let's get with it. Throttle. Show you the modulation in a second. And the lights can be controlled by the transmitter, the running mode, but you have to be in position B on the transmitter right here. So from here you hit this button, low, low beam, high beam, high beam with flashers, emergency lights. I don't know why you would want that. And then signal lights only and completely off okay so obviously you want to be in high beam and they will have the signal lights when operating so here it is so something really cool not too noisy but the modulation is excellent and it's got a little bit of torque even uh, at low speed which is not something you find all the time Okay, and then steering is nice and fast. And you can adjust the throw, trim, a bunch of stuff here, but obviously you just want max. Max steering. Max throttle all the time. But the key here is note the modulation. Very smooth, deliberate, and controlled with very little play on the wheels. So the basics are good, okay? So we will do a couple just desktop things, strengths and weaknesses. And hit the trail. So, so the strength is the steering is nice. Modulation is nice. And as you can see, I am getting over these bumps and it's not jumping out of control. Could be better, but pretty darn good. So that is the key strength. Beautiful body for sure. And a pretty nice package. About 184 bucks with two batteries. So, so that's the strength, the weaknesses, you know, I say this with a lot of um, small vehicles, suspension is undamped. Um, it's a tall order for them, but I think at this scale, what is it, 1 18th, um, the Panda is able to achieve damped suspension. This, I think, would benefit greatly from damped suspension, okay? Another con is the, the sliders. They're really steps for more mall crawler type vehicles, and they do get in the way. Uh, but one could just cut this if it if it if this is annoying you, like it does me, because <laughs> I think it'll perform a lot better. All right, another weakness is this one. You know, the mess of wires here is not not awesome because it does get in the way every time I close it. It's like almost closed. All right, and then. Let's see, the final weakness, I would say the manual. It's very weak. First half is in Chinese, and then the next half is very hard to read for old eyes. 
like myself. But it is, you know, it comes in a very nice case like this, very high quality foam. And then a box and a very cool weakness, uh, strength is that it's licensed, you know? Toyota FJ Cruiser, 118 scaler. That's cool. So FMS also sold as Ishin. All right, so enjoy the running video. All right, here's the running video. We have Eric, the videographer, and he says I should talk to give context to what you are seeing. His son is running around too, so you'll hear him every once in a while. Oh, and you'll see me on the video. I could not escape the camera after all. So here's the first climb. Super steep. And it's fairly composed. So right there, it already tells you that you can have several attempts at a tough ob obstacle. It's not, Still good. it's not unstable or out of control. No. Right there, first crash, got it out of the way. And then almost vertical, but you hook right with the front tire Ooh. and it was able to do it. So that's very impressive for a hard body scaler. We move on. This is a very narrow chute, too narrow for this vehicle. So we have to hug left, which is the steeper rock. So that is the problem for this vehicle. It, uh, it goes up like that. So on other vehicles, we can hug right. Avoid that rock on the left. But then this body gets hung up when you go on the right. Boy, that was crazy. Sorry, here. We gave it some attempts, but the body was just getting hung up. Here, something pretty steep, side hilling, and then just the driver area there, we didn't see the right front tire dipping, and that upset it, especially with undamped suspension. When it flips, it goes without warning, because it will tilt the balance quickly and then it's off. Right here is a tough one because of the sliders. The sliders are actually what I call mall crawler steps. Good for your feet to grab onto, but it is gets caught up in rocks. And right there, pretty good move here. You can see the articulation of this vehicle. It looks really cool because even a lot more than the 124 scale, it looks kind of real. And we are in this hobby for quite a bit of that, you know. Lights when you back up. This is a, this is a steep one, especially because this vehicle is a little too wide for this. And then sliders again getting hung up right there. This is gonna be some sliders, I'll call them steps. But the steps are pretty easy to cut and you'll have a pretty clean slider. So we do this a couple times when you power through, bad things happen. So as you can see, we flipped the machine over for you guys on its first run. It's only then that you understand what the vehicle is capable of. That bumper is really cool. It never was an issue, never called attention to itself. I always say when a part is not noticed in a, in a test run, it's done its job. Right there, super cool to the modulation. Very realistic. And our camera guy is amazing because he does not have a gimbal. He is hand holding the camera. I think his hand is stabilized. Right there, we do some descending. There's an Element RC hard body. Right there. And here we do a little bit of dirt before we close this off. Stock tires, completely unmodified. First modification we'll do we is it. put some heavier wheels. One more time. Maybe, especially in the front, get that nose down, get the center of gravity in our favor. Next thing is, is damp the shocks somehow. And the way you damp shocks is you put some 
some kind of grease or heavy fluid in the shocks that won't leak out quickly right there descending articulation pretty cool the motor is able to control this heavy vehicle FJ cruiser modified a vehicle that really is a Tacoma and Toyota gave up on but it is pretty darn good and there's the engine finally I'll do a comparison with a couple of vehicles SEX 24 right here uh, obviously bigger 124 scale 118 scale both of them are undamped this is heavily modified so that's a size difference this is uh, they perform pretty similar this is a, a very light body but um, this is more a, a crawler and this is more a scaler but this I think we can has potential but that's a size difference the other key thing to compare it to is the FMS Land Cruiser Land Cruiser this is one of my favorite vehicles so cool opening hood as well servo is fo forward mounted here this is quite a performer this is higher obviously a little bit more body roll the width is I would say the same this this is a little longer uh, but very similar nice interior on both of them you can barely see the interior here though small windows uh, but this is about 174 with two batteries 184 with two batteries all right the last thing we'll compare it to is this willy's jeep uh, from fms as well beautiful vehicle probably my favorite vehicle from them uh, opening hood has a two-speed transmission i believe um, and then a, a, a steering wheel that turns very very scale and the trick up the sleeve aside from being so scale is it's got a full-on leaf spring suspension but a lot more money for this one 270 bucks with two batteries about 180 for this one so there you go uh, fms is a force to be reckoned with not only because they're high quality but they keep introducing new and innovative vehicles especially these hard body vehicles